Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I wanted to show you guys how to use virtual production props inside of your Unreal project. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see here, we are inside of Studio and we actually already have our virtual production set up. As you see, we have our tracker already live um, and tracking, which is great. Um, if you need to know how to set this up, we already do have a tutorial um, that I will link in the description for you um, to go ahead and get things set up so that you're caught up to this moment. Um, but once you're all set up, uh, essentially what you need to do is add um, a, a couple props to your scene. So we're gonna work with um, we're gonna work with two different props. And so what I'll do is I will add um, a stick and then I'll add a box. And you just add them by clicking these buttons and now they're added to our scene in here. Um, and then what you wanna do now is pair your tracker to these props. And in order to do that, you just wanna go ahead and click and drag this directly on top of the prop. And then it goes ahead and, and pairs it. And so now you see when you pick up your tracker, it's currently moving around the stick, which is exactly what we want. Now you also see that um, we, can, um, we can offset the position of this tracker and in order to do that you can click on this icon right next to stick and if you need to um, offset you know the position or the rotation you can definitely do that by adjusting these numbers for now we'll leave it um, as is but if we see inside of unreal that we do need to offset this then this is where you would go ahead and do that um, so for now um, we'll go ahead and, and leave that like that and then now what we wanna do is make sure that we're streaming so that we can go ahead and uh, stream the data directly into Unreal. So there's two ways you can do that. Uh, at the bottom right down here where it says start live stream, if your settings are already good to go, you can just click on this and uh, it'll all get outlined in green and that means you're currently streaming. Um, but if you're not sure if your settings are set up correctly, um, you can go up to this cogwheel up here and then go down to our premium features. Um, that is. One thing to note, um, data streaming is part of our premium feature, so if you're not on our uh, Rococo Studio Plus subscription, this will not um, be available to you. But if you are, you can go down to data streaming and you can enable it right here by toggling this on. And then just make sure that your forward IP is the IP address of the computer that you're forwarding the data to. And then for your forward VP port, um, just keep note of this because you're gonna be using this inside of Unreal. Um, so once that's all set up, we can go ahead and now jump over to our Unreal project and uh, get this all set up there. All right, before we actually jump into our project, we just want to make sure that our uh, Rococo Live plugin is installed. And if you don't have it installed, you can find it on the uh, Unreal Marketplace. And if you go to search products, type in Rococo, and then you'll see here Rococo Live. We can click on this, and then you can click on Install to Engine. Uh, we already have it installed on our um, version of Unreal, um, but if you don't, it's just gonna ask you which version um, of Unreal you wanna install it to, and then it will go ahead and install. Um, but once that's ready to go, then we can jump over into our project. All right, so here we are in Unreal, um, and we've gone ahead and just opened our, um, our virtual production project that we have in our GitHub. If you want access to that, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for this project as well. And uh, you can go ahead and download it and play with the character and the props that we have in the, in the scene. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm, I'm going to bring some props into our scene. So I'm going to go to our props folder, um, go to hand mirror, and I'm going to drag our hand mirror in here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and drag in a, um, a tomato. So we'll go tomato, and then we'll just drag this in. And we can adjust the size, just make it a little bit smaller. And so these are the two props that I'm going to have in here. And so now what I want to do is uh, first off, uh, make sure that our plugin is installed. So in order to do that, you want to go up to edit plugins, and then you should see smart suit live. It'll be under our, the, the animation um, category. Um, but if this is currently unchecked as enabled, you want to go ahead and check it and then um, it'll prompt you to restart Unreal and just go ahead and restart Unreal and once it's done restarting um, it'll be installed. So we already have it installed so we're good to go. And then now once it's installed uh, you should have access to a couple of uh, um, different um, 
game objects and files and things like that within the pl plugin. So the first thing that you want to search for is actually in here in our search classes. We're going to type in smart suit and we're going to grab this smart suit receiver and drag it into our scene. And then you'll notice it'll um, populate here in our world outliner and under here in our details what we want to just make sure that the VP listen port is the same as the VP forward port that was in um, studio which it looks like it is so we're gonna go ahead and just leave that as is uh, but you do want to make sure that this um, is inside of your project uh, next what we want to do is um, click on our game objects and make sure that they have components added to them so um, there's to, there's a specific component that we want to add. So if we go to add component and then type in virtual and then you'll see production prop, we want to go ahead and click on that. And if we, um, if we see the, if we look at the details, you'll see that there's a name. Um, we want to make sure that the name inside of um, studio for the prop is the same name as this. So if we go ahead, go back to studio, you see we have stick dash one we want to go ahead and rename this to that. So we'll go ahead and act, actually we'll, we'll name this one box dash one and we'll rename this one stick dash one. And then you also want to make sure is live is checked. Otherwise it will not, um, the data won't transfer, transfer over. And so, um, so that's box dash one, we check that. And then the last step is to make sure that actually your mobility uh, right now it's set to static so that means it won't move just make it movable and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our mirror we're going to make the mobility movable and we're going to add component type virtual production prop and then we're going to name this stick dash one and then we'll go ahead and check is live and then the last thing that we want to do is just make sure that um, our live link is set up to communicate with studio so we want to go up to window and go to live link and then click add and then rococo studio source click studio and click ok and then once that's all set up we can go ahead and now press play and if we zoom out a bit you'll now see we are able to move the tracker in real life and actually it's um, changing the direction, the rotation and the position of our, um, of our mirror, which is awesome. This is exactly what we wanted. So we can go ahead and uh, use this. So say for instance, if this was a sword, you could attach this um, tracker to you know a, a physical stick and um, actually get some real cool like sword swings and things like that. Um, if you have multiple props that you wanna work with at the same time, um, you can, what you can do is, um, let's see here, we can go ahead and uh, just basically do the same thing. If you have another tracker, you can drag it right into your other prop and, um, and it'll start moving that. So if we go, go ahead and press play again, And now we're moving our tomato. So this is essentially just how you use um, the, the trackers and the, the light stations, lighthouse stations in order to um, manipulate props within your um, Unreal scene. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And um, I hope that you guys will now learn more about kind of just using the virtual production within your own project. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.